My interest in architecture grew over a period of time, I think like most people. Um, but there's sort of early memories I have of making things. So I was constantly building and making low-tech Rube Goldberg contraptions. And I think over a period of time, as a kid, I started to sense the power of building things, of the built environment. I am frankly more interested in the ideas that come out of the intersection of other ideas. Things range from a hospital to a carpet. Both of those are equally interesting to us, and the thing that links those is the deep research that will go into whatever that project type is. We're driven by a sense of curiosity and discovery, and I think that's inherently optimistic. I think that's inherently about possibilities. Imagination Playground was a pro bono project and it was a self-initiated project and it was a chance to look at how to reinvent playgrounds from a child's point of view. And now there's portable playgrounds around the world, so in many ways I think that is uh, sort of the purest output so far of, of Rockwell Group's intent. You know, the, the culture shed involves a huge amount of invention, and that only works if everyone brings their full toolkit to the table. I think it is a chance to make a big, bold, exciting new contribution to the city together. We're a, a sort of a design city here. We're about 250 people, architects, interior designers, coders, sculptors, craftsmen, painters. I would say it's organized around studios, but that act as neighborhoods. If you go back to the city analogy, there are those bleeds from project type to project type, and that creates a, a place that is, you know, really collaborative. I, I think at the end of the day, architecture is, you know, an incredibly complex set of decisions, and having a, a vision that's strong enough to push through all those decisions is, I think, part of what makes a building successful. We are living in a period of such incredible change. There is a almost invisible boundary between how we live and work. The implications for digital technology in the built environment is just at the very beginning stages. In addition to that, I will tell you, I think architects are radically undervalued. I think our contribution to the built world is nowhere near the value we provide. And I think architects can have a seat at the table long before the program's developed, long before the site selected and after the project is complete. I would say there's no better time to begin working. And I hope there's a shift in the ability for architects to be compensated for the kind of value we create in the world.